watch as this paralyzed man writes his thoughts with his own mind all because he has a microchip in his brain. Night fam, we are showing this to you because Elon Musk wants this to be a reality for all of us. And so I want to ask you, would you say yes to a microchip inside your brain? Elon Musk wanted to use this microchip to link human minds to machines so that in the future humans can upgrade. That means in the future your mind would simply be able to download any type of information from computer or a smartphone. That means an entirely new world of knowledge. No more studying for school. Even no more need to learn a new skill. You can simply just download it. The possibilities would be endless. Because Musk also claims the microchip would help you store your own memories better. Imagine growing older and being able to replay every details of your past at any point. When your loved ones die, you could always go back to their files in your mind. Just imagine curing your grandparents suffering from Alzheimer's with this one chip. But then this could also be dangerous. Because what if these memories could be used against you or another person? Because as it turns, these microchips implanted in your brain could also be hacked. Bad guys would suddenly have access to your most private memories, copy them and sell them for profit or blackmail. And considering there is a hacking attack in the world every 39 seconds, this could be very dangerous. But then again, is it right to hinder, to limit a potentially life-changing technology just because it has some dangers. With this invention, people could regain what they once lost. Their sight, their hearing, their hope for a better future. It is an amazing technology. I don't really have any movement below my elbows at all. But today, I'm able to pick up an object and manipulate that around in space. Elon Musk also claims that this chip could be so powerful it could treat mental health disorders like insomnia, depression or addiction. But then again, just look at us now. Look what technology is doing to us. I cannot help but have doubts. We have become smartphone zombies. We are too busy with technology to interact with the real people in the real life. With technology, yes, we are more connected than ever, but yet it feels like we are disconnected. We are more sad than ever. What could possibly happen when we take it a step further? Once we blur that line between being a feeling human and being a computer. With all of this in mind, as I sit right here in Bali, in Indonesia, taking one month with an incredible limitation to technology and social media, I want to leave you with the question once again. Would you say yes to a microchip inside your brain?